Okay, everyone. Um, I want to uh, talk about this uh, inductive versus deductive model. Okay, so let me flip through. Okay, so inductive model. Um, later, I'll show you this uh, video. Well, actually, I will just uh, post the link and uh, you can watch. And then you can decide if Sherlock Holmes method is uh, inductive or deductive. Okay. But let me introduce uh, what is an inductive model. Inductive is a reasoning from a specific cases uh, to more general principles. So you observe a lot of the different cases and then you find out there's a general pattern. And from there, you um, generate um, a theory. Okay, this is a basic tool for theory building, right? Um, we take bits of uh, empirical data and form in a general uh, exploratory uh, schemes to accommodate uh, those facts. Okay, for example, B.F. Skinner um, is a very famous psychologist and uh, he conducted a lot of uh, animal studies and they come up with these uh, operant conditionings. So, reinforced or uh, behavior, right? Um, or punish the behavior. Uh, when this is reinforced, then it's more likely to occur again. When it is punished, then it's less likely to occur again. Okay. So what it did was um, uh, recording um, uh, animals' behavior under different conditions, and then developed uh, the understanding of the learning processes. Okay. Um, yeah. So that's that. That's inductive. Another model, deductive model, is a reason from a general principle and to make predictions about a specific instances. Um, we have a theory already, and we try to use that theory to predict the new situation. In other words, we test the theory. We see if the theory is correct or not. How much does it apply? So, uh, from here, we um, uh, generally understand about the inductive and deductive. You can say inductive more like, uh, you know, bottom-up. You have a lot of different cases, a lot of data analyzed to find, um, you know, uh, the pattern to, find, uh, to form a theory. And then deductive is kind of like top-down. You use that theory, one theory, to try to um, uh, predict if um, uh, that fits, to, you know, a new observation. Now, in psychology, what do you think about? Do we use more inductive or deductive? Um, uh, actually, in psychology, we use more um, deductive. In psychology, we usually just test the theory. There are so many, many, many theories, and we use the theory to test. Uh, unfortunately, um, we probably don't do enough um, uh, uh, inductive, um, but if you want to, you know, get published, usually we follow this deductive model. Okay, just, just so you know. Uh, so, but um, uh, we do have uh, examples of applying both inductive and deductive models. So, for example, you probably heard about this story, Kitty Genovi. In 1964, New York City, I think it's Brooklyn or, you know, which area, that area wasn't really peaceful. She was coming back um, uh, from work about 2 a.m. And uh, when she was heading toward her apartment, she was stabbed and raped more than 30 minutes. And a week later, according to a report, 38 people heard and saw, but nobody helped. Okay, but the keyword is according to a report. And you know, sometimes a report can be exaggerated. Um, later, um, uh, People ask why um, it's such a tragedy, and she, by the way, she died on the way to a hospital. Um, and one day, um, two psychologists they had lunch and um, they talk about this case and say, "Ah, oh, such a tragedy! Hey, why don't we do a research about that?" Yeah. So they observe that some uh, cases they um, have some data, and from the data they started a new branch of uh, psychology. Help uh, psychology of helping. Yeah, they conduct a lot, a lot of uh, studies about helping. So that's um, uh, in the beginning is inductive and then become deductive, testing our uh, other theory. So, for example, by standard effect. Right. Uh, just a very quick, um, you know, uh, side notes. 
uh, key did you know this um, case um, people think about um, this is um, a perfect example of uh, people's uh, indifference um, actually this is not uh, <laughs> There are a lot of incidents uh, that uh, demonstrate how how indifferent uh, people are, but not this case. First, number um, 38 people actually that's exaggeration, probably 20 top. And second, imagine think about this: if you are you know detective, 2 a.m. Um, in the morning, what will people be doing? People probably will be sleeping, right? And uh, maybe they heard some noise. When they came out and watch, are they going to see very clear? Are they going to understand right away that uh, this is, uh, you know, something horrible going on? Maybe that they probably, actually, they just saw some shadow and uh, two people kind of like, maybe struggling or maybe arguing. It can, they cannot be, may not be for sure. So the situation is really ambiguous. When situation is ambiguous, people are less likely to help. Because um, nobody would jump to the conclusion, oh, somebody's been uh, stepping right. Okay. Um, so this is a really unfortunate uh, event, but uh, we just want to say this is probably nobody's fault except that criminal. And by the way, he was caught and uh, right now in prison. Um, uh, in, um, I think it's a life sentence, but um, I cannot be sure. You can check it online. Okay. Yeah.